What are cybersecurity controls? In this video, we will define security controls, explain the three main types and functions of security controls. Security controls are safeguards or countermeasures which protect a system and its information from unauthorized access, use, disclosure, tampering, or destruction. Cybersecurity is implemented through security controls. There are three main types of controls, physical, technical, and administrative. Physical security controls are tangible mechanisms like doors, cameras, and security guards designed to deter or prevent unauthorized access to physical facilities, systems, and assets. Technical controls manage cybersecurity risk and can include restricting access to and use of assets. For example, a council might install firewalls to block unauthorized network traffic. Administrative controls are the policies, procedures, or guidelines that define personnel or business practices in accordance with the organization's security goals. This would include a council's employee training and personnel recruitment and termination strategies. Administrative controls help to ensure that only authorized personnel have access to the resources and information they need and that they know how to use them safely and securely. Controls also have different functions. For each function, the different types of controls outlined above can be used. Preventative controls refer to any security mechanism that is intended to prevent undesirable or unauthorized activities. For example, physical controls such as fences help to secure a perimeter. Technical controls such as firewalls help to protect networks from unauthorized access. Detective controls detect and alert to undesired or unauthorized activity while it is occurring or after it has occurred. Physical examples of detective controls include alarms that notify guards of potential problems. Your council might have a policy that requires regular backups of data. That would be an administrative detective control. Corrective controls include any actions taken to repair damage or restore resources and capabilities to their previous state following an unauthorized or unwanted activity. An administrative corrective control would involve putting a council incident response plan into action. A technical corrective control would be applying a patch to a system. It is essential that a council has risk assessment and management processes in place to help balance the need for security controls with the available resources and potential harms and their impacts. This video is part of a series designed to expand your understanding of digital, technology and cybersecurity concepts. To learn more about the terms we covered, please watch our other videos.